table topics today. The theme of the meeting is common sense. So we're going to have some questions about common sense. And I discern from looking at the group that you're filled with both <laughs> common sense and occasionally, just very occasionally, lack of common sense. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start out with common sense, the positive side of it. And when I would first thought about common sense, the first thing I thought about was Thomas Paine. For your information, if you don't recall, he wrote the pamphlet, Common Sense, in the uh, eight, uh, 1770s. So, Dan, tell me, what do you think Mr. Paine thought about common sense? Well, it was obvious to me that for Mr. Paine, common sense meant ignoring the social precepts that existed at the time that we should continue to be a colony of Great Britain. He was looking at the facts, not simply the social conventions of the time, when he talked about if we really look at our situation as people, not just as colonial subjects of Great Britain, it's time for change. That kind of change means, of course, engaging and embracing common sense, which, of course, he did. I think it's a template for thinking based upon no, no, no nonsense, simple analysis of facts, analysis of the facts, excuse me. And of course, to me, it's also a fabulous example of something that I think is totally lacking today in our society, which is unbiased, critical thinking. Mr. Fairfield. Thank you very much. 